Carista or OBD11? Which one should you buy for your VAC vehicle? By the end of this video you will understand differences between these two scanners perfectly. You will know which of them should you buy for your needs. And I will also show you one hack if you really hate paying subscriptions. Both of these scanners offer different levels of subscriptions and both also have free version. Now for Carista app the free version is pretty much useless. Anything you are trying to do it will ask you to just buy subscription. For example you can scan all modules for faults but it will not let you read the codes unless you buy subscription. You can see codings or possible features you could unlock with this scanner but it won't let you do it unless you buy subscription. And you can see some live data parameters but to see actual values you also need to buy subscription so Without subscription Carista app is completely useless. However, with Carista adapter you can connect and use it with different apps you have in your app store. So with this adapter you can also use like hundreds of other apps. For example my favorite car scanner ELM which is great app but it will not be enough for advanced functionality you will need for your VAC vehicle. And a lot of that functionality you can actually get even with free OBD11 plan. So if you only spend like $60 on this adapter and use it with free plan, maybe you will not be able to unlock hidden features, but you will get a functionality of professional scan tool. With free plan you are able to read and clear faults in all control modules. You can also access all modules and read live data in each module, which makes it easy to diagnose problems not only in the engine, but also in other systems like ABS, radio, airbag, all systems you have in car. You can access even with free plan, read data, read codes, clear codes and even do bidirectional testing. Usually the bidirectional scan tool starts around 3 or 400 dollars and with OBD11 you are getting all this functionality if you only buy adapter you don't have to pay subscription. So for diagnosing problems in any system in your work vehicle or doing used car check free plan is completely enough you will get data from all modules. But once you want to start using service procedures and ECU coding. So if you want to unlock hidden features of your car, you want to do some customizations or you want to do service resets like oil inspection resets, airbag reset, TPMS reset, all these service functions. With both adapters you will have to pay for subscription. And in the intro I promised you one hack you can do if you hate subscriptions and this hack is this launch creeder for VAC vehicles. You will get all functionality like with these adapters and you will also get free lifetime updates. You can use it to diagnose all systems, do used car checks, service procedures, unlocking hidden features, all that without having to pay for subscription. So if you really hate subscriptions I will put link for this launch in description. And now let's get back to comparing these two devices. Now when it comes to choosing subscription both of these scanners will give you different options. With Carista it is only subscription, you can choose one month for 10 euro, three month for 20 I think and full year for 50 euro. And then OBD11 is a little more complex because it does offer you not only subscription choices but also buying credits and using it for one time purchase in the app. But don't worry you don't have to pay credits and buy subscription because once you buy subscription you don't actually need credits. So there is two subscriptions to choose from, either Pro or Ultimate. The Pro is $50 per year and Ultimate is I believe like $130 per year. And then you also get credits. Now having credits is not bad thing because this device even with free plan is already enough to diagnose your problems. And then if you want to do some service reset or do some customizations, maybe instead of buying one month of Carista for 10 euros, you can buy 10 euros worth of credits, which I believe is 50 credits and most of operation costs 10 credits. So if you spend 10 euro on credits, you can either unlock five hidden features or you can do maybe four hidden features and then do one oil reset. So if we are considering getting these adapters to unlock maybe one or two hidden functions, the easiest way would be to just pay for credits and then you can still enjoy the complex functionality of this scanner without having to pay for subscription. However, if you have more modern vehicle where there is a lot more features to customize, in that case the Carista might be better because if you pay for one month you can do unlimited customizations. One month is 10 euro. So if I spend 10 euro on OBD11 I can do five customizations with credits. If I spend 10 euro on Carista I can do thousand customizations for 500 different cars. It is unlimited. And then 
even even better if you already have some ELM adapter and you want to do a lot of customizations you can just use the ELM adapter you already have connect it to Carista app which you buy one month only for 10 euro and then basically for 10 euro you can do hundreds of different customizations and you have whole month to play with them when it comes to longer subscription so if you are considering getting this for one year for 50 euro or then get pro subscription for this one for 50 i think the obd11 is better deal because not only is better for diagnosing problems and checking used cars it will also give you few more options when you want to do customizations now what i like about both of these scanners whether you use Carista or OBD11, they both have the list of possible customizations for all car models online. So what you can do before you buy one of these, you can actually go to OBD11 website, I will put link in the description, and then you will select your car model, and you can see all the customizations you will be able to do even before you buy this. And then Carista also have page like this, you can see customizations. But I think I am rambling too much, so final verdict, OBD11 will be better as your one only tool that you will use to service, customize and check your VAG vehicle. And I would say it is better for like DIY mechanics, if you do some car work, the full life data, information in control modules, it gives you much more data than Carista, which you can use if you know how to use it. But then it is also more advanced to use. If you buy pro subscription, how you unlock these features without credits, you actually have to do the coding yourself. Carista is more simple to use. You will just get list of possible customizations, which is similar to OBD11 one click apps, and you just select what you want to change one click, save and it is done. With OBD11 Pro version you actually have to do this coding yourself which for me is more fun and if you don't know how to do it I actually have full VAG coding guide that will teach you how to work with long coding adaptations and all that not only with OBD11 but also with other diagnostic tools. It is completely free so if you want to learn how to do coding for VAC you can download it in the description and then you will be able to use OBD11 Pro Plan to code these features yourself. But if you want to have just something simple to use just do a few customizations here and there and don't worry about coding then Carista will be a better choice for you. It also does work for some other brands like Toyota, Lexus, BMW I think, so you will be able to customize more car brands, but OBD11 will be better for VAG vehicles. It gives you more data, more information, more options to customize, and then some extra features like for example basic settings, these you will find in OBD11, but you will not find in Carista. So which one you should choose? Strictly for VAG vehicles, OBD11 will be better, and then if you want to have something simple that will also work for some other brands, you can get Carista.